Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hey, Craig, curious question for you, man. Have you been shopping recently? I have not. Mate, well, I've got some good news for you. I, I know you're not a big fan of crowds, uh, as most of us here at the B Plus aren't. Um, have you heard of Threadbox? I have heard of Threadbox. Mate, then you would know how good they actually are. I mean, I just received my first crate, and holy moly, I'm, I'm amazed. I mean, guys, if you're listening, go check out threadbox.com.au. And they have everything from hats to socks to shirts to pants. It's fantastic. With email to a personalized stylist and customizable crates, it's it's honestly one of the best things I've had. I don't know about you, Greg, but I really yeah. No, it. I got I got I got a crate the other day, and they gave me new jeans, a couple of new shirts, and the cool thing is, one of the shirts I tried it on, and it was a little bit long for me, and I thought this accentuates how short I am in person, and so I sent them an email, and I was just like, hey. Uh, this shirt, I feel like it makes me look really short because I'm kind of short. And they were like, send it back. We'll give you something else next month, like an, an extra thing. So I'm going to send that shirt back. And then next month, they're going to send me out something else. And I said to them, I've got lots of shirts. And they were like, well, we'll send you some accessories. And that's how Threadbox do it. It's kind of fantastic. See, so how good's that? And with our special code, the B plus 15 at checkout, actually saves all our fans 15% at checkout on their first box. How cool is that? Yeah, so head to threadbox.com.au today and use the code the B plus fifteen to get your first box as soon as you can. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. For one, Andre. You're not good at this. Get out. Let me tell you a personal story about Vince McMahon. You just made the list. Oh my god. Yeah. Sorry, no speak English. Tell me. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> Gummy, yeah. This is the worst town I've ever been in. Hold three. Tomas covers. Three handle. Family Redunzo. Mamma mia! And now. Unchained.media presents the B. Podcast with your host Greg Unchained. It's me, Austin. It was me all along, Austin. Number four, Armbar. I will never retire. I still got two hundred more. I got two hundred. All right, fellow B Plus players, welcome to the B Plus podcast. Today is Monday. You know what that means. It's time for Impact Zone. And what an episode of Impact it was this week. Joining me as ever to talk about Impact, the regular Jay. How are you, Jay? Uh, I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> what, you're not thankful? No. No. You, you don't have anything to be thankful for? I've got nothing to be thankful for. Impact yeah, see- go suck one for this week. <laughs> Not a fan. Sorry, Impact. See, sh- Impact Wrestling put out a Thanksgiving episode this week, anyone who doesn't know. We Australians are not a very grateful bunch. We don't do Thanksgiving. We have nothing to be thankful for. And right now I'm not being very thankful after what I've just watched. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I don't know. I, you messaged me in the chat earlier today and you were just like, because we have a, a staff chat for, for the B+. Plus. And yeah, you messaged me just being like, don't even bother. We don't need to do a podcast this week. It was stupid. Don't even. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like out because it's my birthday weekend. So I was like out doing some things and whatnot. And uh, and, and also enjoying some Black Friday sales, which was awesome. Picked up some some really cheap comic books and stuff, which was fun. But yeah, uh, I, I'm like, I'm like, for, like anticipating, like what's going on? I want to know what, what was so bad about Impact this week. And then I, uh, I get home, I fire it up, and I enjoyed every single minute of it. And I think part of the reason I enjoyed it was because I'm like, I'm sitting there just pissing myself laughing, thinking about how much you were fuming the entire episode. <laughs> yeah, well put. I was just, I, I was watching it and going, yeah, so are we going to have a match? <laughs> uh, goes to a break segment. I was like, huh, okay, another segment. 
Another segment. Uh, no matches. And then we obviously get to the last match, and then after that, it's Ian. I'm like, are you serious? Well, if, you inc- if you include the flashbacks, there were three matches. Yeah, but I don't watch them. <laughs> Yeah, no, skip straight past them. All right, I'm going to run through the results for everyone who who wants to know. Uh, So basically, this was the Eli Drake Gravy Train Turkey Trot. Am I saying that right? Eli Drake Gravy Train Turkey Trot? Yeah. EDG EDG T3, uh, as as Desmond Xavier proposed, which I like that, EDG T3. I think that's a good name for it. It's almost harder to remember than Eli Drake Gravy Train Turkey Trot. Uh, so the concept gets introduced. There's going to be five man teams, uh, and the loser has to wear a turkey costume. So whoever eats the pin ends up having to put on the turkey costume. And it's a tradition that goes back a whole year. Uh, Falabar and Eli Drake are the captains of the teams, and they're going to draw the names from the lottery. Then we get a GWM flashback to last year's turkey trot match. Skip. <laughs> yeah, skip that. Go straight back into the ringer. We've got Falabar. He picks KM. Uh, which is lucky because KM is his translator. Uh, then we get Drake who picks Katarina, which was a nice surprise. I'm like, okay, the, the girls were eligible as well. Then we get another GWM flashback, this time to Chris Saban versus AJ Styles in the Turkey Bowl match. Uh, skip. Yeah. Then we find out that <laughs> then we find out that Kikutaro is on Falabar's team. I thought that was interesting. Like Kikutaro is just showing up for a random episode of Impact. Okay, the one good thing about the whole episode that was, was <laughs> Kikutaro showing. Up. Oh. I wouldn't say that. Maybe he was the second best. There was a, there was a, there was a best, but we all know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to say Fala Bar? No, no. I was going to say okay, Scarlet okay. <laughs> Right, right. Well, look, we'll get to that, won't we? Uh, so Scarlet Bordeaux comes out with the sexy show, the Las Vegas stripper troupe. I, I assume they're strippers. I don't. I mean, they're dancers. They're like a burlesque kind of thing. I think not strippers. I shouldn't say strippers. They're they're adult entertainers. You've lost our adult entertainment audience. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if we have an adult entertainment order- audience, but uh, okay. So, <laughs> so the, the, yeah, the Impact Zone is the destroyer of the the fan groups. Mikey's already taken apart the Mexican fan group, and I believe the Indian and the Indians and the Indian listeners. And now you've taken apart yeah. the adult entertainers. All those. All those Indian listeners that Dan Holohan paid good money for. <laughs> uh, shout out to Dan Holohan, Heel Turn TV. Did some stuff with us a while ago. Uh, he's a good bloke. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Scarlet Bordeaux comes out with the sexy show and they do their thing. And then we get a compilation of smoke show auditions. This was probably the highlight of the show for me because we got Shark Boy trying to ride a skateboard. Shark Boy hasn't been seen on Impact for ages. <laughs> No, he was he was on being the elite recently though. Yeah. Oh well, I don't watch that, so I would not know. I don't. I don't. I don't really keep. If judging by these podcasts, everyone should know that my main focuses are on WWE, Impact, Lucha Underground, everything else. I do not watch. Yeah. I cannot get yeah, into which it. Is fair. Well, and, and PWA and Wrestling Go, oh, your local stuff. Oh, you always yeah, you keep wrestling up with go, some yeah. local stuff. I love Wrestling Go. That's yeah. good. I'm going to my first PWA show soon, so that'll be interesting. Wait, you haven't been to a PWA I've never show? Been. I've never been. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's next level. Like, uh, the guys that, just to give you an idea, like the guys that are headlining Wrestling Go, like your Matty Warburgs and stuff, your Ricky Souths, uh, they're like mid card at PWA, which is disappointing. No, it's not, because that means you've got a whole other class of talent that are above them that are even better. See, see, I think Matty Warburg's awesome, so... Yeah. Um, well, I mean, look, I can talk TEW terms to you. Uh, in terms of TEW, Matty Warburg in PWA would probably be closer to an upper mid-carder, but he's... He does. Uh, he's doing a lot of tag stuff with, yeah. with Carter Dean and okay. the Babes, and and he's he's like feuding with one of the announcers. So he yeah, does a I've lot. I've seen of that. I've seen not, that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and on Triple M. Like, I mean, if he's showing up on Triple M, obviously he's one of the top guys yeah. in a way as well. But but yeah, his matches aren't like the main event matches generally. So. No, that's for, he'll get there. He's only been wrestling for what a couple of years. Couple of years, yeah. yeah. Oh, d- dude is an absolute star, Matty Warburg. This is let's just turn this into an Aussie Grups podcast. Fucking why not? Matty Warburg is an absolute star, so uh, he's going places for sure. But anyway, uh, bringing it back, yeah. Shark Boy uh, auditioning to be uh, Scarlet's 
uh, new client. Then we get Eli Drake picking out another name. It's Jake Christ. Then we see superstars giving their favorite Thanksgiving memories, and this goes for a while. Uh, a hype video for Brian Cage vs. Johnny Impact. Fala Bar. <laughs> this was actually, okay, we know how much I hate Fala Bar, right? But since the title match episode that he had, he's been growing on me a little, a little. Wait, wait, wait. I actually, I actually popped when, uh, you know, KM was talking about OVE. He's like, oh, he, he got Jake Christ. That means Dave Christ is going to be there. And Dave Christ is going to be there. That means Sammy Callahan is going to be there. And th- they're Ohio versus everything. Mm-hmm. Ohio versus everyone. And Bar- Fala Bar is just like, every bar? <laughs> every bar? <laughs> Every bar, and I was like, I-, I popped. I have to admit it. Oh, that's hilarious! Oh. It was pretty. It was pretty good. Maybe, maybe the weeks and weeks and weeks of bar, bar, bar wearing me down <laughs> has has finally like it paid off with this every bar because it's, it's, it's an infection. <laughs> he's he's doubled his vocabulary, which is you know progress. I guess slow progress. <laughs> Which Eli Drake points out as well. He thanks OVE. He's like, you guys, you know, you, you helped follow <laughs> learn a new word. Every bar. <laughs> every bar. Because he did it just like their theme song does it as well. It was so good. Um, it was. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Getting there. See, it wasn't all bad, was it? No, it was still shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's still just going to shit all over it. All right, fine. Uh, so then... Then Fala Bar gets Desmond Xavier, who's stoned, has no idea what's going on. He tries to do the Fala Bar taunt, but just, you know, it doesn't work. Uh, Eli Drake gets R- Rojit Raju. <laughs> but it's like, no, it's Rohit Raju. Uh, then we get more memories. Then Fala Bar gets Alicia Edwards. Eli Drake gets Glenn Gilberti. And he's like, who the hell is Glenn Gilberti? It's Disco Inferno! Disco Inferno is here, clearly to eat the pin and wear the turkey suit. It was obvious immediately where it was going. Uh, he says he's here to impress Scarlet Bordeaux. Uh, and he also claims that he came up with Ultimate X. What do you think about Disco Inferno's claims that he came up with Ultimate oh. X? Get out of it, champ. Get out of it. They have to be as legitimate as Don Callis' claims that he came up with Ultimate X. Yes, they? which is zero. Because <laughs> it was, wasn't it actually like Petey Williams and stuff that came up with uh, it? I believe so. Yeah. This is where we need Big Boy Mikey. Sorry, Bug Boy. This is where we need Bug Boy Mikey. Bug, ah, Bug Boy, who's been zapped. Yeah, he he's been zapped. <laughs> he is not. He, we actually failed to mention this at the start. We're we're missing a member of the Impact. Cast. We are. We are. And I want. Yes. Why is it? Why is that, Mikey? Why is that? Where are you? Hi. Oh, he, <laughs> he can't defend himself. Too. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 say he's zapped. He's actually kind of whipped. Uh, his his missus is dictating what he can and can't do, and he's being a good boy and listening, but. <laughs> But no, but I say he's zapped because he's Bug Boy now because he made that typo once and I'm never going to let him live it down. <laughs> Maybe this might be like a, a an invasion angle. Maybe Mikey might have some words about me on his uh on his rest uh, his raw podcast or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mikey's doing a lot now because he does the King of Sports cast as well, which I actually had to miss last week because I wasn't feeling well. But well, bring it on, Mikey. So he's got he's got a lot of avenues to trash you, man. He could he could it could come from anywhere. I'll just say, bring, you bring it on. You don't, you don't listen. So- <laughs> so I, I will listen to this week's episodes just to make sure he doesn't doesn't talk smack and start a B plus civil war. But <laughs> we'll see how we go. B plus, B plus civil war. We all have to pick a side. <laughs> I hope everyone picks me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the regular Jay. You are so. Yeah, Disco Inferno claims he came up with Ultimate X. It's bullcrap, obviously. But yeah, this is where we do need Bug Boy Mikey, because he's the historian. He he would know who came up with it. Uh, I, I bet Jericho came up with it. Like, Jericho comes up Apparently with everything. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> then we get the video with the history of Option C, which I thought was pretty cool. Then we get a Team Drake promo, and then you've, a Team you've actually promo. You've actually missed something. No, no, no. Otto. No. No. No? The Ultimate X match has been announced to return at Homecoming. Oh, how did I miss this in my notes? Yeah, so Ultimate X for the X Division title. Which is what we at the B Plus predicted once again on last yep. week's show. We got it right. We're right again. We are right again. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it was. It, it's got to be, right? It's got to be Ultimate X. The question is who wins it? 
Give it to Phoenix. One of, one of the rascals. I, I reckon they're going to push them in, into a tag. Maybe. Yeah, but there's three of them. Yeah. I don't know. That's difficult. That's actually very difficult. I could see them going. I could see them going with one of the rascals. But yeah, Phoenix would be a good choice as well. But I, I feel like Phoenix and and Pentagon are going to yeah, be doing the tag team stuff. In, yeah, um, that's actually hard. You could um, always go with a classic, like a oh, Rich Swan would be one that could potentially win it. Uh, Petey Williams again. Petey Williams is always in contention in my mind. That's who I was just about to say. Why not just chuck it on Petey Williams? As a yeah, he's reliable. He's safe. Yeah, it's always yeah. a safe bet. But uh, but no, they do have they do have Rich Swan. I could I could see Rich Swan taking it. That's going to be interesting. That that ma- that makes me really keen for homecoming. Are they going to have like qualifying matches? Because I think it'd be really interesting if Ethan Page was to qualify, but Matt Seidel didn't. Yeah, I'd, and it- I'd like to see that as well. I don't want Matt Seidel with the X Division title again. No, but if you put Ethan Page, if you put the X Division title, even though he's still early in Impact, if you put the X Division title on Ethan Page, and then you have Matt Seidel like playing the jealous mentor, kind of like a Triple H to Batista kind of vibe. Yeah, and have him like I can see where that title's going with my eye, with my third eye. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So I, I don't know. I, I think that's there's there's some interesting possibilities with the X Division title. Uh, I still don't like the way they've handled the whole options. I'm not a fan of the option C situation, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you can't defend option C, Mikey. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it's the worst. So, uh, yeah, so then we get a team bar promo, uh, and then the match actually happens. So the 5 on 5 match. Now, Scarlett Bordeaux did announce that she's scouting and she doesn't like turkey. She likes stuffing. <laughs> and she's dressed... This is, I can't believe I'm about to say this. She's dressed as a sexy pilgrim. Yeah. Yeah. She's basically just wearing lingerie. Yeah, she's, uh, she's doing interesting stuff. Let's just put it back. Yeah. Yeah. So I will, one thing from the introductions to the match that I want to point out, Katarina, they're in Las Vegas, right? Which is known as Sin City. Katarina billing herself as from the original Sin City, London, England was brilliant fantastic heel move <laughs> oh so good she's gonna get destroyed next week <laughs> i i really enjoyed that um, yeah that's can. right next week she's got jordan grace yeah. right yeah and and we also get the rascals debut next week which we were like why is it two weeks from now why isn't it just next week and now we know it was because this was a thanksgiving episode so yeah, but anyway, so we get into the match, and the match just kind of happens. There's no no major things in the match. I mean, Desmond Xavier stole the show, I would say. Which he always does. He'd done it on his one-night-only appearances as well. Yeah. yeah, everything he does is crisp and exciting. Yeah, he's a killer. He's a future star. Yeah. Uh, K- Kikitaro had some fun spots, specifically with Jake Crist. You know, just yeah, they're, they're there to have a laugh, and... Falabar did his roll spot, and everyone rolled over Disco Inferno, even the underage ref who ran away from Scarlet Bordeaux last week with a bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. And so Scarlet Bordeaux's at ringside as well, obviously, and then Disco Inferno ends up losing the match. Sorry, Glenn Gilberti. I don't think they're allowed to claim Disco Inferno. I think WWE probably owns that or something. But... Disco Inf- he, he will always be Disco Inferno to me. He loses, and he refuses to wear the turkey suit. Then Scarlet Bordeaux convinces him to put it on, because she's Scarlet motherfucking Bordeaux. And uh, then she tells him he looks like an absolute idiot, and that's the end I'll of the show. That. That was- <laughs> I, I, I will look at Let's get a little kinky. Why not? I, I'm just watching it. I'm just like, please humiliate me, Scarlet. <laughs> please. Just make me do degrading things on television. And tell me how absolutely pathetic I am. I, I'm, I'm all in. That's my audition. There we go. I, I'm not going to send in a video, but I will send that audio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you get flown over on a plane and it actually happens. Greg Unchained from the B Plus and Unchained.media is perfectly willing to be weakly berated and degraded by Scarlet Bordeaux. Uh, just putting it out there. Uh... Please. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, uh, 
Uh, that went to a weird place. I, I thought it was a fun episode. I really did. I know you didn't like it, but I think, you know, Thanksgiving, they assume no one in America watches TV, right? Like, all the shows that I normally watch, you know, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, uh, you know, the South Park, like, all these shows take the week off for Thanksgiving because no one watches TV. What is Thanksgiving anyway? What? Thanksgiving is like when the, the pilgrims landed in America uh, and- okay. uh, yeah, and they, they did the whole thing with the Indians, and they probably killed people. I don't know. It's it's American history. It's not our history. I, do, I barely know our history. I barely know wrestling history, and I run a wrestling podcast. It's <laughs> No, but it, yeah, it's the whole pilgrims and the Indians and the first meal and the, you know, they got together and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. It's 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 just it's their big American holiday. It's their so big it's tradition. Much- it happens every, every year right before my birthday. It's pretty much our Australia Day. No, that would be the 4th of July. That's American Independence Day. 4th of July is like our Australia yeah, but, Day. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, because our Australia Day does commemorate the landing, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's like one of their versions yeah. of our Australia yeah. Day. They have a bunch of because they have President's Day as well. Yeah, where's our probably call it as? Uh, man, Australians are just like, yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not having a nah, I'm we're right, not having eh? public holiday for that. Uh, we'll take any excuse. We'll take any excuse for a Barbie. I'm just gonna sing VB titties and have a Barbie. <laughs> have a pack of Winnie Blues. <laughs> just for those of us, for those of our listeners in the UK and and, and Australia, this is how we talk. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'll grab my phone and hit you with it. <laughs> oh, not putting this on. Gonna, gonna go down to the servo, <laughs> buy some durries. Uh, in my. <laughs> oh wow. You know, you know, impact's been good when we're talking about going down to the servo and buying diaries. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even talking about wrestling anymore. It's gonna, it's gonna sink a few darts outside. Uh, uh, get, get me silver pillow. outside of PWA. We're gonna sink a couple of, couple of tinnies and, and some darts. <laughs> uh, the any Americans listening are like. What the fuck are these guys talking about? <laughs> what are these darts? What are they doing with darts? Are they smoking darts? Da- <laughs> darts is a, a colloquial uh, term for uh, cigarettes, uh, for those who don't know. And uh, yeah, but <laughs> anyway, it's gonna gonna pull some cones and and fall asleep on my silver pillow. Uh, welcome. To my official podcast, uh, Talking Australia, with uh, Greg Unchained and your host, the regular Jay. Straya. <laughs> Straya, cunt. No, uh, uh, that's all we have time for, for the impact zone. We, we did our best. We made it to 20 minutes. I, guess, I think that's as far as we can go. Yeah, really. it is. I'm, I'm just glad that next week's going to be normality again, and we're going to get a full impact show, which I'm looking yeah. forward to. Absolutely, and some of the stars of Impact are actually here today, right now, as we talk. I'm getting message updates from people in Melbourne uh, about the matches that are that are underway for World Series Ooh. Wrestling. So Brian Cage what? is out here defending tomorrow, the X Division title. That's uh, not tomorrow. Tomorrow they're still in Melbourne, then they're in Perth on Sunday, and then they're in. Uh, that's right. They're in Penrith Monday. on Monday. That's why. Are you not? I couldn't going? go because I've been working away for work. Uh, okay. I thought yeah. it best yeah. not to buy Makes tickets, sense. and luckily I didn't. Yeah, so you're missing out on Austin Aries and Brian Cage. Yeah. And a bunch of other names like Volta, Cody, Marty Skull, uh, so Bandito. It's, it's incredible. But yeah. I mean, Mikey will fill me in. Uh, yeah, do you reckon our boy Robbie's going to win the title mm-hmm. off Austin Aries? He's got to, right? Oh, maybe Austin Aries might chuck a big sook. <laughs> no sell the finish. <laughs> Robbie works over the leg the entire match, hits the 450, hits the special on the leg, and, and Austin taps, gets up, walks away, flips everyone off. <laughs> Just do the exact same spot. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right, where can people find you, Jay? <laughs> uh, just on Twitter, at the regular Jay. Uh, yeah, so if you want to tell him how wrong he is about this episode and how it was the greatest episode of Impact ever... At, at the regular J. I am at Greg Unchained on Twitter, at the Greg Unchained on Instagram. We collectively are the B Plus Wrestle on Twitter because wrestling wouldn't fit 
the B plus wrestling everywhere else. I feel like I stuffed that up. Every time I say it, I feel like I stuff it up. The B plus wrestle on Twitter, the B plus wrestling everywhere else. Five star review on iTunes if you want to. If you don't, I mean, I'm not your boss, man, but I'm thankful. I'm thankful for those who do. Hold one. Andre. You're not good at this. Get out. Let me tell you a personal story about Vince McMahon. Yeah. You just made the list. Oh, my God. So, no speak English. Dummy. Yeah. Good bye and good night. Hold two. On bar. This is. The worst town I've ever been in. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> Coming out. Hold three. The Moss Covered. Three handle family credential.